Hi guys, Matt from the Hockey Players Club and Quest Hockey. Today we're going to work on inside edges. Your inside edges are on the inside part of your skates, whereas your outside edges are on the outside part of your blades. So a good drill that you can do is just going from your inside edges to your outside edges. So a little bit wider stance on your inside, feel your inside edges, bring your skates narrower and stand on your outside edges. And once you get the hang of it, you can do it a little bit quicker. Once you get the hang of standing on your inside edges, we want to just get the feeling of gliding on them. So just get a little push and glide on your inside edges, feeling how that that works. You can go back and forth, but just on your planting your, your feet, nice knee bend, and gliding on those inside edges to feel what that feels like. When we do this drill with our players, we like to use the blue line so that you have a dividing line halfway, and it's just a C-cut with both skates, knees bent, stick in front of you, and you're going to use both of your skates at the same time to get on your inside edges. A little bit more difficult is to do it with just one foot. So on this one, I'll do it with my right skate. And again, I like to use the blue line because my left skate's gonna wanna stay on that blue line the entire time in a straight line. And what we want is a really deep knee bend. There's a direct relationship between the amount of bend in your, in your left leg and the amount of extension with your right skate. The more I stand up straight, the shorter and, and the shorter my seat cut will be. The deeper I get, the longer my seat cut will be. And that's true with your stride as well. So nice deep knee bend to start. My left skate's gonna go straight, my right skate fully extended, and then come back together. you watch videos of Sid practicing, almost every time he warms up, he does this drill. And it's really good for lengthening your stride, getting comfortable on your inside edges. It's basically one foot at a time. And when you switch feet at the halfway point at the blue line, you want a nice long stride. And that stride is a push off of your inside edge from about the middle of your foot to your toe. I like to teach it with one hand on the stick, so you work on the stride. Nice, deep knee bend. Bend your knees so that your kneecap is out beyond the toe of your skate. That's how you know you're bending your knees enough. We don't wanna cut, right? We don't wanna cut through the ice, we wanna glide. And that's balancing on our inside edges while we do the drill. Nice and balanced, nice and low. And again, a long stride into our other edge. And last little point, you can keep your foot up to isolate one foot. If you do, make sure it's back and not out in front of you so you have the tendency to want to put your foot down. 95% of my weight on my plant foot, 5% of my weight simply just lightly resting on my toe of my other skate for balance. So I'll just lightly have that toe down on the ice just for a little bit of balance. Next drill you can do is focus on improving the balance of your inside edges. So you want to use a circle on the ice. And for half of the circle, you'll do crossovers. And then for the other half, we just want you to hold and balance on your inside edge. Keep your stick and your eyes centered to the, so the middle of the circle will make it easier. Crossovers, around, then you get here and hold nice and deep. Crossovers around, hold nice and deep. You're gonna wanna just set up a cone, skate in a straight line. You're gonna put your inside knee down. 
and then use your inside edge of your outside skate to try to turn around the cone with your knee down. Definitely hard. Uh, you're not going to get it right away. It's difficult. Do your best to try to master it, keep practicing, keep working on it. Outside edges are on the outside of your skates. That was all good. I went to zoom in and it was incredibly. I went to zoom in and it went right to your crotch. Like real fast.